Hi everyone, Jeremy Avery with the Ecosystem App Engineering team here to give you a look at the alpha release of our Red Hat OpenShift database access product. Let's get started by taking a quick look at the OpenShift cluster we'll be working with. I started by deploying an application called FruitShop to the cluster. FruitShop is a Quarkus based app, requires database connectivity to display a list of fruits to its user. As of right now, there is no database connection feeding the application. So if we check the route associated with the application, we'll find that the list is currently empty. The database that we'll be using will come from a third party database providers cloud platform. With our alpha release, we're supporting two such providers. The first platform we'll look at and the one which will hold the database instance, which we wish to use with our application is MongoDB Atlas. To start the DBAS process, Users should visit the provider's platform and set up their organizations, projects, and instances before returning to OpenShift. Let's take a look at our organization inside Atlas. Inside our AppEng organization, we have several projects, of which Project 1 is currently selected, and of particular interest to us here is the DBAS Cluster 1 instance. If we check the collections inside this instance, we'll find the list of fruits that we need to supply to our application. Similarly to with Atlas, Crunchy Data Bridge can also be used to establish PostgreSQL instances for use with DBAS. Here we're taking a quick look at the organization we've set up and a few instances we could instead use with our application. Now, let's return to OpenShift. With both Red Hat OpenShift dedicated and Red Hat OpenShift on AWS, add-on flows will be used to install the operator. However, we can simulate this by manually installing the database as a service operator via OLM. Once the operator has finished installation, it will take care of a few dependencies it requires as well. Note here that we have operators for each provider plus the service binding operator to help with connectivity. Once our operator and its dependencies are in place, we can begin the instance discovery process. We start by heading over to installed operators to create a provider account resource. Here, we select the provider which we wish to target in our case, MongoDB Atlas, and supply the credentials associated with our account. After create successful, we get back a list of instances associated with those credentials. Note that the instance with our fruit list, DBAS cluster one, is included in the list here. As with MongoDB, we can now create a provider account for Crunchy Data Bridge to discover the instances we have on their platform as well. Notice that the credentials for both providers are different. At the point of startup, we allow provider operators to register with us and provide a dynamic list of fields required for using their service. Once created, we'll again see a list of instances presented to the user that reside on the provider's platform. This concludes our demo of the alpha release for the database as a service product. Thanks for your time.